What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Blur Brilliant Diamond Walkthrough. Okay, so in this episode, we're going to take a small side quest here and there just to, you know, open up a few things now that we got the cut technique. Uh, in our last episode, yes, we went into the Pokemon or the, what was it, Team Galactic hideout right here. Save the the cycling road or the cycling prof well, not the cycling professor but the cycling uh, owner and whatnot and yeah now we can actually cut everything and uh, well let's see let's go right ahead and just take care of a few things that, that we we have yet to to accomplish like you know grab some items open up some spots right here I think I don't think they're here so we're using the bike for the first time and yeah we will be finding some Pokemon right here yeah we will be finding some Pokemon right here around 12 or 1 2 2, 2 11 and well let's see I'm just going in closer and there's nothing right here usually when there's open spots yes we found we will find some some nice items right here so let's get the heck out of here and yeah we will be finding Pokemon left and right just like Geodude now this is a very nice spot to actually find yourself a meta chain or meta a meta type I should say now I was thinking about it probably should uh, probably should get it but since I already have a fighting type Pokemon I'm just like yeah you know what that, that will be for shining pearl and all that crap so uh, let's get the heck out of here I'm gonna get attacked you know by a Pokemon here and there obviously I did not edit these old things out because you know I'm talking I'm just saying yeah whatever <laughs> okay so let's see what else is there that we have to do now there are quite a few places that we can go to actually you know grab a few items check out a few things uh, now that we got both the bike and the cut technique uh, you know what we, we might even battle that's probably what it is so let's go right ahead and battle here we have this guy he's like see how Mount Coronet towers above us I want to see the big I uh, want to be big like that one day okay alrighty big like that one day that's exactly what she said okay so here we go going up against Hiker Lewis and he will be coming out with his Geodude now yeah I kind of messed up there just a little bit probably because Electro Star is uh yeah electric type Pokemon right here mm -hmm. look at that Electro Star just making this guy all all uh intimidated and all that stuff so we're gonna switch it out to Rose Raid right or Rosemon right here because uh yeah I kind of want I don't want to evolve this Pokemon already god dang it so here we go, Rock Polish trying to speed up its uh, its speed. Look at that, look at that. It's gonna be super greasy that you know it's gonna be faster than that. So let's go straight for an absorb attack. And yes, the quick claw will enable us to hit first. So here we go, absorb attack. Yeah, buddy, say goodbye to Gia, dude. Look at that. Okay, alrighty, say goodbye. And there we go. Electric Star grows to level 23. Not doing anything. And. Well, Homeboy will be coming out with an Onyx right here, so let's continue on with our good old friend Rosemon. And you think Rosemon's gonna be afraid of big, of big scary Onyx? I don't think so. Look at that. Look at that. You see how easily it get absorbed? It? Yeah, easy. Okay, alrighty. And there goes Hiker Lewis. He's not too happy about that. Eh, it is what it is. Okay, so let's move on right here, and we're gonna be rock smashing this whole thing. And well, let's go right ahead and see what we can actually find. I think this is a bird catcher, so it's you know we'll, we'll see what ends up happening right here. But I kind of feel like yeah, I was just checking for the items, and this guy is like, look at these beautiful wings. Hmm, what beautiful wings are we talking about? Okay, so here we go. Bird keeper Alexandra wants the battle, and well, she'll be coming out with a hoot hoot right here. Okay, Electrostar, you are in your element. Let's get this right here. And well, we're intimidating. Yes, we are in the, the most intimidating Pokemon because we got spikes on our butts. So here we go. Spark attack. Finish this guy off. Now I could have I could have easily battled these guys first before I went to the gym, but I I, I kinda had a good team going in uh, to uh Gardena, so it's not really that's not really like you know that big right there. So look at that. We defeated her. And our reward for that is the TM12 time. And well, we're gonna, you know, make our way back. Now this this whole cut technique is going to uh, allow us to take a small visit to a place that we kind of we kind of dreaded for, but 
Let's see. Do we have a do we have a repel right here or something? No, we got pokeballs. We got a lot of pokeballs. I'll tell you that right now. Um, let's see. Good gravy. We do not have repels. Okay, so we're gonna get attacked by a few Pokemon. Going to the squads right here. Not really. Okay, so the next place in our in our uh, list of visiting back, uh, we're gonna have to go back into the Eterna Forest. Uh, first is first. Let's go. Oh wow. Never mind. Oh wow, you got a bike! You can ride down to Cycling Road and end up in Heart Home C City. It's a fast and fun ride. You should check it out. Uh. Ha! Huh. Well, would you look at that? He won't allow me to go down. Hmm. Really? Really? I, I, I'm. I, I literally planned this episode. It, uh, okay, anywho, okay, so change of plans, we have to go, we have to go to the cycling road. Dick! Okay, so here we are, going into the cycling road, and would you look at this? Driven! A long time no see. Oh, you look puzzled. You're wondering who I am. I'm Professor Rowan's assistant and Don's father. Really? My father-in-law's here. I've come a long way at the behest of the po uh, professor to help you on your adventure. Driven, let me ask you, how many Pokemon have you met? Oh my, you've met 42 Pokemon. Wonderful. Yes, bravo. The professor should be delighted. Here's something for you. And we got ourselves a rare candy. That is much needed. Giving a rare candy to a Pokemon will instantly increase the Pokemon's level by one. You can raise your weak Pokemon or you could train a strong Pokemon. But use them as you like. Also, a Pokemon you get in a trade may disobey if you trade it too high. Don't worry. Don't worry, though. If uh, It will obey if you have enough gym badges. Okay, alrighty. Okay, so, uh, change of plans. We're going into the cycling road in Route 206. We're going to be battling a lot of trainers right here. There might be an evolution here and there. And, well, here's challenger number one. Or victim number one. Let's go right ahead and battle. Okay, so... Okay, we're taking on Axel. Not Curtis Axel, Axel. And, well, Staravia is right here. And... Well, here we have Electro Star ready to go, and well, let's go right ahead and well lower its attack right here. So let's go straight for let's go right ahead and use a Spark attack right here. Let's go, and well, you know, Staravia is going to be a little faster than us. So here we go, Spark attack for the win. Goodbye. All righty, Staravia, you're not you're not feeling so good right there. Our Pokemon growing. And Axel has been defeated. Okay, alrighty. Anywho. Hmm, what did I uh, mean to talk about? Hold on, hold on. Oh, damn! So it, it would seem that I, I did not move anything on the cycling road right here. Holy crap. Okay, so here we go. Taking on uh, Cyclist James. And we are going to be taking on a Ponyta right here. Now, let's see. I do understand that I actually, you know, I was coming out with one or two episodes per week on Pokemon uh, Brilliant Diamond. I get it, guys. Busy, busy, busy. Uh, you know, the holidays are here. We're trying to get the last minute stuff done. And uh, trust me, guys, I am uh, working my butt off to make sure that all of these episodes are up and running into my channel right here. Because, yeah, next episode, or next month, Pokemon Arceus is coming out. And I kind of want to get a, get my hands dirty on that one. And, well, look at that. My Pokemon are growing level is pretty cool. Yes, Cyclist has been defeated. So, yeah, there's uh, that whole Pokemon uh, Cy Arceus and all that stuff. So, I don't think... I don't think I'm going to be doing that until quite possibly I get at least 30 episodes done onto Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. That's mainly because, well... <laughs> look how many walkthroughs I came, I came out with, okay? And I, I get it. I get it. It's a lot of it. It's a lot of walkthroughs, but you know we will be getting them done. I am working diligently for all these uh, for all these uh, walkthroughs right here. So let's go right ahead and continue battling. And well, the Shinx has been defeated. Well, look at that. We're we're just getting intimidated everywhere. Shoot, might as well intimidate the the Pokemon trainer right there. And crap, baskets completely forgot about my. Oh crap. Okay. So <laughs> yeah, completely forgot about last episode where. Monfernomon has fainted. And I believe it was because of uh, that that Pokemon battle, so probably should have checked. So let's go with an absorb attack right here. Definitely not doing a Nuzlocke. And here we go, absorb attack. And that takes a nice chunk of a uh, good HP right there. Okay. 
Okay, okay, alrighty. So Sheens, you're not feeling so good, but here comes a Leer attack. Oh, crud. Holy crud. Alrighty, alrighty. So the defense has been lowered. Let's go with the growth, and uh, yes, look at that. The quick law has been working for us. Look at that. Growth. Okay, let's do this. Come on. Work for it. And, uh, well, there comes the tackle attack, so no biggie. We don't need to use potions for this Pokemon in particular. And look at that. The quick law is just, it's just helping us right now. So let's go. Absorb attack. And that right there is working just a little bit more. Okay, Rosemont gaining some traction right here. And, well, here comes the spark attack. And not so effective. Thank you, Baby Arceus, for not fertilizing my Pokemon. Look at that. And there we go. Okay, alrighty, alrighty. And, well, as you can see, we have defeated a Shinx with two or more Pokemon. And, wow, nearly evolved a Pokemon right there. So, Lexi. Yeah, we got to go back to the Pokemon Center. So, let's see. Yeah, we're going to go back to the Pokemon Center, guys. I will be right back in the next, like, well, not in the next episode. I'll be right back in just a little bit uh, after my Pokemon are healed. So, I'll see you guys. In Alrighty, guys. So, we finally got our Pokemon healed. Completely forgot about all that stuff. So, let's go right ahead and take care of this situation right here. As you can see, we got uh, Bicyclist again. Okay, alrighty. Here we go. Completely forgot about healing my Pokemon, but now we're, you know, at a total hundred. Everybody's getting experience points, and somebody will evolve at the end of this episode, probably. I don't know. Hopefully, maybe. I don't know. I'm just talking out of my ass right now. So, here we go. Uh, <laughs> look at that. Starly's not so uh, cool right now. So, let's go straight for a spark attack. And there we go. Alrighty. Look at that. Say goodbye. And bam, Hydra grows to level 20. And you guys already know what that means. Let's go right ahead and switch out our Pokemon right here. And, uh, well, let's go straight to Ultra Psycho. Let's be, uh, let's be, uh, let's use this guy as a cheat right now. Okay, so here we go. Ultra Psycho ready to go. And Ponytail ready to come out and just, uh, wreck havoc at us, probably. I don't know. I like this Psycho cut. It's pretty awesome. Here we go. The way it looks, look at that. It doesn't even need its spoons. But we all know that it's not a special attack, it's more of a physical attack, or, yeah, it's more of a physical attack. I've learned this through you guys. Trust me, guys, I've seen the comments on my Pokemon Platinum Walkthrough uh, in regards to my, uh, uh, into my, uh, my whatchamacallit, my Gaia number two, yeah. <laughs> wasn't thinking, really wasn't thinking, guys. Okay, so there we go, she's falling off her bike. Digivolution time. Oh yes, Digivolution time. Okay, so after 12 episodes, yeah, 13 maybe, 13 episodes, we finally get some evolution, and this one is a big one because we got Hydra, the big ass Gyarados. Look at this guy. Now my team is buffed up, super buffed up and everything, and well, the atrocious Pokemon. It is 21 feet, 4 inches, and look at this. 518 pounds of pure nastiness, okay? Once a Gyarados appears, its rage never never settles until the Pokemon uh, has raised the fields and mountains around it. Okay. Okay, look at that. And it has learned Bite. Alrighty, now let's go ahead and take a look at this Pokemon right here. Again, it is very tempting on using every single one of these Pokemon. Uh, what did I just do? Okay, I got out of there. I gotta, I gotta get out of there. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the, this guy right here. Gyarados, the water and flying type Pokemon. As you can see, we got it at level 6. And, uh, well, it's a, it now has the ability Intimidate. Its speed is not that big of a of, of, of its uh, strong point or anything. But it is a very physically gifted Pokemon. Now, again, guys, don't necessarily know if I'm going to be using all these Pokemon in one single team. Please suggest a team. I, I again last episode or a few episodes ago I was suggested. Why not use Kid Thunder? Maybe, maybe, maybe I should be using that guy. Okay, so let's go right ahead and start battling some more Pokemon right here. And uh, who do we have? Cyclist John. Okay, Cyclist John, you ready to do? Let's go. It's gonna come out with a Starly. Now the other Pokemon I am waiting on for it to evolve is a Rose or a Rosemont right here. So hopefully we get this thing accomplished right here in this episode. I'm hoping. 
We're kind of hoping. So let's go spark attack. And the spark attack does its thing. Say goodbye to Starly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And well, let's see. About to come out with a Staravia. Let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and use our new Hydra right here. I get it. This doesn't really have a lot of attack, but you know what? Now it's gotten a lot stronger. There we go. You've never seen an uh, you've never seen a Gyarados before. All right, let's intimidate this guy, and I think he's gonna intimidate us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're on a even playing field right here. Get yourself a Gyarados, guys. It's always a fun Pokemon to actually use. Okay, so here we go, bite attack, and that takes a lot. Look at that, man. Now we can use an extra Pokemon. Freaking awesome. Okay, alrighty. Look at that. Say goodbye. And, well, we get more experience points. That's more monies for us. We are feeling richer. Okay. Now, there is one guy right there. Wow, we got plenty of challenges right here. Holy crud. Alright, let's go. And let's see what we got. Okay, so the bicep can only take you as far as your energy will allow. The only the only funny thing is that I'm turning left and right, but I'm not going down. It's all, you know, the cycling, recycling road and all that crap. So here we go, taking on a Zubat. And yeah, that's another Pokemon we're, you know, waiting on evolving and all that crud too. And, well, inner focus prevents my intimidate, but guess what? It cannot prevent the spark attack of doom right here. So here we go. Spark attack does its thing. Spark attack defeats it. Okay. And there we go. Toxic Batman grows to level 21. And Monferno Mon. <laughs> you know, should have been at level 25 by now, but yeah. Okay, alrighty. No evolution. Okay. I got a rare candy, you know that, right? Wait, 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 wait. You don't want to ball Okay, there we go. I was about to say. I felt so lonely not being attacked. Holy crud. Okay, alrighty. So here we go. We're going up against Rachel herself from uh, Friends. And well, let's see what, she, what she's all about. Shinx. Oh, wow. More Intimidate. We're doing a lot more Intimidations and all that stuff right here. Look at that. We're intimidating that Pokemon, and it's intimidating us. Holy crud. Stop intimidating. Okay, so let's see. Let's go ahead and switch out a Pokemon right here. Let's go straight to Monfertomon because, well, it's the logical Pokemon to use. It is. It really is. Okay, Infernomon, let's do this. That's right. Look at that. It's ready to go. And here comes a Leer attack. So will this work? I do not know. I do not know. So here we go. Flame Wheel for the win since it was not... Intimidated or anything. Look at that. Okay, Shinx has been defeated. There we go. And look at that. Electro Star grows to level 24 and is finally learning Roar, but I'm not going to teach it because, well, it's not really, yeah, it's not really effective or anything like that. So let's go to Ultra Psycho right here. Okay, Ultra Psycho ready to go. Ultra Psycho ready to destroy. Okay, Ultra Psycho gonna get intimidated. It's gonna be a physical attack kind of thing, but you know what? It is what it is. Okay. Here we go. Confusion attack. Let's finish this guy off. Confusion attack does its trick. Man, I kind of feel like a like I'm kind of hacking just a little with, you know, with a uh, Ultra Psycho and whatnot. And look at that. She is not pleased. Yes, I am a speedy technician. What now? Okay. Um... One more. One more person, and then oh, yeah. we're almost done here. Huh. Okay, so here we go. Going up against Ka Kayla, and, well, she will be coming out with her Pikachu. Pikachu's ready. Pikachu's ready to go. And here we have Electrostar. And, well, Electrostar is intimidating. And, you know, physically attacking the Pikachu can actually get you uh, paralyzed. So that's probably the one thing that I'm not going to do right there. So let's go right ahead and switch out to Ultra Psycho. All right, that's right. He's like a boss right here. And crap at this. Here comes the Electro Ball. It's like a, a Dugan right there. All right, a Dugan this. Confusion attack. Uh-oh. Confusion defeated. Yep, yep, yep. Look at that. <laughs> Okay, alrighty, so that's another Pokemon down. And Kayla defeated. 
total wipeout and everything, man. Not feeling good about that. Okay. Alrighty, so uh, let's get the heck out of here. And, well, after doing that, let's get the heck out of the bike. Talk to this girl. Hold on. And she's like, you have a great bike. I'd like to give you these stickers. And uh, look at that. Three Sky stickers. Not bad. Okay. Alrighty. Alrighty. Okay, so she's talking about the decorating your Pokeball for, like, the contest. You guys already know. I'm not... I never do contests because, well, you know, why? Why should I? And, well, look at this. Once we reach Route 207, our girlfriend Dawn comes along. And she's like, hi, Draven. How's your Pokedex coming along? Me? I'm somewhere between fantastic and, uh, hopeless. But it isn't about me. I've got something nice for you. Draven, choose which hand. I'm going with the right. You see? You want the Via Seeker. I'm impressed, Draven. You know what's important. And we get ourselves a Via Seeker. As many of you guys remember, the Via Seeker actually, you know, it... it, it it actually allows you to rematch Pokemon trainers around here. Oh, Draven, do you also have a Pokétech? Yep, you do. You can have this too, then. You deserve it for all your hard work, Draven. And we get ourselves the dowsing machine. So now, you're able to find some, like, hidden items and whatnot. And, well, what else are we? Let's see, especially in dark caves. Okay, let's keep working on our Pokédexes. <laughs> Professor, Rowan, Professor Rowan is counting on us. Oh, God, I'm getting called. All right, guys, so... I will be back for the next episode. Stay tuned, and it's going to be pretty fun. See you guys.